Is the chat GPT hype train about to be derailed? Well, if you're a copywriter or a marketer or you wanna be one, you better make this video top priority today because I'm gonna tell you the truth about chat GPT, the truth about prompts and why they are not the answer to everything AI and how I use AI to create high converting sales copy. In fact, I'm gonna show you the weird way I use chat GPT to create a full nightmare story using only about 10 words. I'm John Benson and this is Sales Copy Secrets. Welcome back. I'm out here in my beach home and this is going to piss some people off, man. Let me tell you. Because ChatGPT, a lot of people think it's a killer copywriting god or something like that. It isn't. It's not the magical AI fairy in the sky. It's gonna make all copywriting training obsolete. Listen, got bad news if you believe that, but I got incredible news if you watch all the way to the end of this video. So don't freak out just yet, okay? First, let's rip the Band-Aid off, shall we? ChatGPT is a crappy copywriter, at least the way most people are using it. Now, remember, I've been in the AI copywriting space for six and a half years, long before chat was ever a gleam in its daddy's eye. So I'm not just talking smack here. I kinda know what I'm talking about. You say, John, I've seen you use ChatGPT and you wrote like an entire VSL or something with the damn thing. Well, that is true. And I'll get to how I did that in a moment. Relax, man, chill, chill, relax. Just look, everyone freaks the F out when they talk about or see ChatGPT. They think, oh my gosh, it's the end of professional copywriters. It's the end of everything. Well, it's not. It, before I tell you why it's not the end of copywriters, let me tell you why it's so limited, okay? It's a brilliant tool, but it's limited because it's narrow AI. It's not true intelligence. That's a ways off. That is called general intelligence and ge artificial general intelligence. This is narrow intelligence. And what that means is it's taking logical guesses at what comes next. What's the series of letters that come next? Doing it at warp speed. And it's read the internet essentially up to 2021 right now, well, close enough. And it's smart. It can read between the lines in a lot of places. It can write poetry and it writes better than most humans, but it's logical. Poetry is basically word logic. It's the same with art. Copywriting is not logical. It's quite illogical in many places, and that's why it's very difficult for chat to write like VSLs and persuasion-based emails and NLP and all that stuff. It really has a hard time still with that. It's gotten better with the more recent updates regarding NLP, but it's like a child learning really big words, right? The kid uses the word all the time and usually uses it out of context. Well, the same goes here. It can use NLP, it just doesn't know when or what the best place to use it would be. It also doesn't know how to break things up when it's what's known as pacing and copywriting. We'll talk about pacing in another video, but let's dive into prompts first. Prompts, in case you don't know, are the commands that you type into chat GPT to get it to produce whatever it is that you're wanting. Prompts are only a small part of the AI equation if you want truly killer emails. You're gonna need more than prompts if you do. Now remember, I've been working with copywriting software before AI came along, long before ChatGPT. So believe me when I tell you, you cannot prompt your way to killer copy. So what's the answer, John? Well, the answer is to leverage how ChatGPT was trained to start with. And that's in something called few shot learning or FSL. It's a lot easier to say. Now we can do, get it to understand FSL in a lot of places and in place of prompts. First, there's data. Uh, we were gonna give it some data that we want to reference, okay? I'm gonna show you all this in a second. And then we lay down some FSL, and we put it right into the same chat request, and this is more random than formulas. It requires some legwork if you try this on your own, but it can really produce insane results. And this is where you use a series of formulas with a data pattern, something chat can start to recognize as the logical answer to the illogical question that you're asking it. And then finally, you're gonna use either a simple prompt or sometimes even no prompt at all as we're gonna see today. And I'm gonna create a full nightmare story right in front of you using no prompts, <laughs> but using a massive bit of FSL. Let's check it out. Okay, for our few shot learning FSL training, this is a long, 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 long bit of copy. All right, this is all, and there's more of it than that. I'm gonna grab everything from data down right there. That whole thing is gonna be pulled over into chat. Okay, I'm over here at uh, chat.openai.com. 
I am going to create, I created a new chat. You cannot use chat GPT 3.5 for this. It will suck. It's chat GPT 4, which is chat GPT plus. You definitely want the plus membership. It's 20 bucks, something like that. It's not expensive. It's well worth having. I'm going to paste that entire thing in here. And a lot of people don't know you can even do that, but you can. Now I have to fill in this data. It's going to ask me, when did this happen? And I'm going to create a pattern erupt for myself for one of my own offers. Okay. When I was 38 years old and I already know what my pattern erupt image is. So if you don't, you'll just have to think of something you want a weird image that the, the story ties into, but in the full training, which I'll talk about later. Uh, yeah, it does the pattern erupt images for you and everything kind of cool. Mine was a weird box. And next is the very important part, the details. What do you want the nightmare story to focus around? Now, bear in mind, this is one part of a video sales letter. It's one of the most important parts of a VSL, the nightmare story. It's the one that people hire me to write the most besides leads. It's also the one that people usually bomb on. Okay. So this is super cool to do. Notice how I'm not writing. I'm just giving it data. I'm just giving it facts. And this is, by the way, is a true story. I was a workaholic and I had a massive heart attack. The only difference is I had the heart attack at home. I'm changing it, changing it to the office just to do something creative to see what it would do. And I was care flighted out. So what is the niche for me? That's weight loss. And who is my avatar for me? That's folks over 50. And that's all I need. When you put the few shot learning on top of this, this is all you need and notice there's no prompt here prompts usually sound like a command there's no commands all i'm going to do is hit it, enter and i'm going to speed this up because it's a lot of copy all right we're done now check this out it wrote the story there are other prompts i could give it to make it longer to make it more dynamic but that's more involved in the full training but i want to show this to you i remember it so clearly i was 38 years old i was at the office trying to keep up with my demanding job my life was consumed by work notice the fact that it's breaking everything out one sentence and in a paragraph at a time exactly as the few shot learning taught it to do it wrote in the style of the few shot learning. I wasn't, I had this life changing moment happen to me. I received a strange gift from a friend. It was the weird odd shaped box. It wrote what was in the box, which is kind of cool. Made that up, became my symbol of hope. I just started right then and there. I drew a line in the sand. So it's following my nightmare story perfectly. I would just use a few, what I call expander prompts to make it even juicier, but look at this. And now share my experience with you so keep watching it's following it perfectly and there's not a prompt in the world that will give you this kind of output so look i'd like to give you all of the few shot learning examples that you just saw today for free and a lot more than that so here's the story i recently teamed up with legendary marketer todd brown to reveal how we hacked chat gpt to get it to write unreal VSL copy. Copy so good, could easily pass for my own or any other A-lister out there with no more skills than it takes to copy and paste. Now, this can give you a full-length VSL in under an hour, writing five to 10 words total. I know it sounds crazy, it sounds insane, but you just saw a short, of, a short example of how well this works. And right about now, you should be spinning the wheels in your head, right? So I want you to look below this video. You're gonna see a link to free training that I have with myself and Todd Brown right now. It's live for a few more days. And when you register below, you're gonna get an email from me with access to all of the few shot learning examples I used to write that nightmare story that you just saw for free as my gift to you. How cool is that? And obviously there's a lot more here for you than just free nightmare story training. I'd love to show you how non-copywriters are using these tactics to create full length VSLs in under an hour, for example. And considering I created VSLs, as you probably know, I've been working in the AI copy space for six and a half years. I can guarantee you that you won't learn any of this anywhere else. This is a free workshop and it's going to reveal how we're doing it. And it's only going to be free for a little bit longer. It's just a lot of demand right now. So we can probably start charging for this, which is cool. But for now, it's free. So click the link below right now. I'll send you the FSL training for the Nightmare Story. And of course, I'm going to take you right into the video training that Todd and I did for VSLs. And when you see what we're doing, it's just going to freaking blow your mind. It will. It's very cool. It's fun. It's fast. And I think that it's going to change the way that you look at AI and copywriting forever. So awesome i will see you on the workshop and let me help make you unignorable by making you a vsl king check it out below i'll see you in the next video